Hello, hello. Welcome back. Happy Monday to you. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And today I am working with the freebie sheet from the Facebook group. I'm sure that by now you're all very familiar with the fact that I put a new freebie sheet in on a Monday, um, which you can use within your projects. So this week we've got four quarters, um, we've got basically two collages, one colour blend and then we've got the cover of a very old musical book. So doing it in quarters like this does mean that if you were to trim that off along there and then the same along the top down the side whoops helps if you tear it straight although that's a contradiction in terms really isn't it when you're using a decal ruler but there you go tear down that side and this side obviously if you've printed borderless then you wouldn't need to do this there you go and then you could have a very cute handy little booklet either to go in one of your journals or um, to make a mini journal in itself now I've just tied up my desk so I haven't really got a wad of paper um, here you go, if we look at this one as an example, you could put that in there and that make a lovely little booklet. Obviously you've got the white line, but we nearly always put fabric or lace down the spine, so that would cover that up. A little bit of inking around the edge and away you go. You've got yourself a nice little cover. And then obviously on the inside you could um, just add some coffee dyed paper or make you know a collage page or something along those lines see i'm just automatically inking it up now this is what i do but anyway um so yeah you'd have a nice little booklet there can put a little bit of fabric down the side that'll hide at that white and away you go so that's one way that you could work with it you've got that lovely grungy back or you could make some journal cards so I've got a couple of photographs I've got my cutout box and I've got two little bits of fabric there I'll just move my chair a little bit I feel like I'm hanging off the edge of my chair. So again, just trimming up the edge, get rid of those white bits. And then I'm gonna make two little journal cards just to slot into a pocket. So I think on this one, um, first of all, I'm obviously going to ink the edge because I've got this dark blue, I've got these dark blue die cuts in my box. I see they're going to work pretty well, and I've got that mustardy coloured fabric, and of course there is some mustard type colour in here. So could use that on here as well. I don't know what cutouts I've got in there. I've got a little rummage. It's been a while since I filled it up. I've just been taking from it. So, okay. So obviously we've got this quite blank area at the top here, which feels like the ideal place to put something. So, I think what I'm going to do is just 
tear up a bit of fabric, get those strings off. Trust everybody's okay. You had a good weekend. It's always nice to have a weekend off, isn't it? Um, I sometimes feel Sunday evenings are a bit sad because that means back to work on Monday morning. I know there's lots of people that probably do weekend shifts and things, so you don't feel like that. But it's just, you know, a thought that often crosses my mind on a Sunday evening. Right, spread that out so we don't get any lumpy bobbly bits. Let's just put that down, give it a little screw up so it's a little bit more interesting than a flat bit of fabric. And then I've got this navy blue die cut, which I think works well. But I've got this very delicately shaped one. It's almost like the outside of a gem. So I wonder if that might work well. Um, I'm thinking actually that maybe we'll use the big one because once we've got that down we can put something else on top let's have a little look and see what we've got still got lots of these lovely blue uh, well that one's a bluey grey but lots of these lovely bows from the shabby dabby doo -da. um, this is a mustard and lemon piece from one of happiness and crafting kits so maybe that would work nicely on there and we can create a real sort of dimensional collage like that yes yeah, see i'm liking that and then i think what i want is a bow to go on there so it's a case of finding the right color let's have a little flick through see what we can find that might be right let's have a look at that one Oh no, see it's very wrong isn't it, it's the wrong size, the wrong colour. So what about a grey, a grey spot, it definitely contrasts nicely, but I don't know if it sits in the right sort of colour way, I wonder if we're better with this one. I think that one sits better in the spot. Just going to keep looking. See what else is in here. Just to make sure. That needs to be marginally smaller. That will sit in there, right? So, needs to be smaller again, I think. Let's take a little bit more off. Right, okay. I think we're good to go with that one. So let's move those up, lift these up. Just gonna get some ink around these pieces. I know the inking is boring. I know lots of you tend to zone out on inking. Uh, something that needs to be done really okay make sure we've got this up the right way come down 
more side. Okay. And then that one will go there. You need a lot of glue on this because you've got the bumpiness of the fabric. And I was thinking, whoops, I was thinking that um, we're really honing in to Christmas now and anybody that wants to be making Christmas items is probably starting or already started. So I will be making sure that the sheets that come out for the next few weeks on a Monday do have a bit of a Christmas theme to them so you can be doing some Christmas bits if you want to I don't really do Halloween or um, you know pumpkins and all that sort of thing it's not it's not me so I won't be doing that kind of theme I'll just be skimming past that straight in to Christmas so If anybody wants to obviously make sure they get their Christmas freebies they'll be the next three or four Mondays so something for you to watch out for um, the other thing is talking about Christmas we've just done or are doing the October swap there will be a swap at the beginning of November but I will not be doing the December one I think everyone will be too busy so we'll come back to it um, in January so there you go so we've got our little booklet we've got our first journaling card and now let's have a look at this second journal card so, just get rid of the white. Um, for those of you that were following the Sunday Musings live videos on the Facebook group, which then had to be changed to just Musings one day in the week, I will be doing that tomorrow so there will be a live tomorrow for the musings okay so that's that one and I'm feeling like I want this lady so I'm gonna give her a tear out too to one side you know how I love a photograph I'm gonna get that one down there and then we want some what else have I got in my box I feel like we want some words no no words so maybe then if not words some music because she looks like she could be an opera singer or something doesn't she so let's have some music whilst this is an, from an old music box I can feel how much newer the paper is than the one in that one the one in that one is very um, what's the word I'm looking at? It's very soft and almost fabricy, whereas this is um, much firmer, you know. 
I suppose over time many people handling it and you know natural grease from your fingers and things all go towards colouring and aging these papers so and I mean that is something like 1915 that book so it's hard to imagine the amount of hands that will have you know handled it has handled it <laughs> over time so also of course I always call these journaling cards and leave the banks back blank but there's no reason these couldn't become toppers you could you know add these to a layer of fabric a bit of book page etc etc and suddenly you've built up a really good topper for the cover of a journal okay this photo so are you all getting yourselves organized for christmas now or are you working on halloween and autumn i suppose those of you that do decorate the house and celebrate things like halloween means that you get one well, less time and of course i know our friends across the water you obviously have thanksgiving as well so um yeah you know, very busy time this this season don't you or well, this quarter of the year right i'm gonna pop that one in there right so we're gonna put a little bit of fabric on there like so now you obviously that's people moving up and down in the street outside those of you that haven't been here before i live on a fairly busy road um, but oddly not busy for cars busy for people lots of people walking up and down during the course of the day so unless i recalled very late at night when it's hard to get the lighting organised, there's always background noise, I'm afraid. But I suppose it just, you know, it's life, isn't it? It's what's going on. And just pop her on there, like so. Very simple, very basic, just a few block items and as if by magic we've got three journal editions on tea and our little booklet so there you go as always thank you so much for joining me hope there's some inspiration for you there happy crafting